Welcome to Electron Line, and here we're going to talk about something called fractional distillation. And before we explain what fractional distillation is, let's, ex let's uh, summarize why we're here in the first place, why we're talking about fractional distillation. Whenever you have a solution where the two components, or it could be more than two components, are similar in structure and similar in what we call intermolecular properties, then the intermolecular forces are virtually the same between the molecules of one, uh, one, the one component, or the molecules of the other component, or the molecules of the cross components. For example, with benzene and toluene, they're very similar in structure, so the intermolecular forces between the benzene molecules are about the same as the intermolecular forces between the toluene molecules, and are about the same as the intermolecular forces between benzene and toluene. And because of that, the vapor pressure from a solution like that is simply a sum of the vapor pressures of the individual components. So this line right here represents the vapor pressure of toluene. This line right here represents the vapor pressure of benzene. And the vapor pressures, of course, are a function of the molar fraction of each of the two components. For example, the top line here represents the molar fraction of benzene. And of course, if 100% of the solution is benzene, then the entire vapor pressure of the solution is due to the vapor pressure of benzene, which in this case, at 80 degrees centigrade, would be 760 millimeters of mercury, which is one atmosphere, and therefore also the boiling point of benzene. If the entire solution is made up of toluene, so that the, the uh, fractional component of toluene is 100% or 1.0, then of course the entire vapor pressure of the solution is due to the vapor pressure of the toluene. Anywhere in between, it's simply a sum of the two vapor pressures together. So at the halfway point, when half the, the moles are benzene and half the moles are toluene, this would be the component of the vapor pressure, the total vapor pressure due to the toluene, and this would be the component, the total vapor pressure uh, due to the vapor pressure of the benzene. Just simply add it together, that gives you the total pressure right here. The interesting thing is, since benzene and toluene do have different boiling points, the boiling point of toluene, I think, is about 110 degrees centigrade, if I remember right. I do know that the boiling point of benzene is just over 80 degrees centigrade.